Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie and welcome to Total Fashion Sense. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified of future video content. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up letting me know you guys enjoyed it. Um, that helps a lot with the analytics and also for YouTube to open up more of the doors for more people to be able to view my videos. So without further ado, this is going to be a haul video and it's going to be a very long one. Guys, grab your popcorn, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab your coffee, your tea, whatever you guys want and just bear with me because it's a long one. On today's video though, I am going to give you a brief description of each fragrance. It's kind of going to be like a first impression and if you guys want to see a more of an in-depth a video on each fragrance I can do that as well but I won't be getting into notes because um like I said I just pulled them out of the boxes and these are fragrances with the exception of two that I already showed you guys but I'm putting them here because I did purchase them in the month of July so um, if this sounds like something you guys are interested in watching stay tuned <music> Welcome back guys. Um, the first fragrances that I'm going to talk about is the two that I had already kind of briefly showed you in another video. The first one is going to be uh, Summer and it's Calvin Klein Eternity. Calvin Klein Eternity for Women and this is called Summer. Guys, this is a beautiful, um, I know what it smells like already. It's a very fresh, woody white floral fragrance it's a bit sweet it's aquatic it has um notes of coconut in it it's just beautiful it is just a great fragrance for the summer this is one that was very inexpensive i actually bought this one in burlington um guys this is summer by eternity and it is obviously by calvin klein but um, it's a great fragrance um, that I feel you guys can buy for the summer. It's just kind of like an in and out type of fragrance. Something you grab and go and just put it on, throw it and keep going. Or a very nice fragrance you guys can also wear to the beach or to the pool. This is just an easy reach. And the next one that I have is also by Calvin Klein. And it's Eternity for Women. And it is called Flame. Flame. So this one, aside from that one, is more of your summer evenings fragrance this is a very um amber um citrus sweet fragrance but it's more musky and a little bit woody this is one that i would say like i said in the other video i would wear the summer in the daytime and then i would wear the flame more of your summer nights both of them are amazing i would also pair them together guys because this is your citrus, this is your amber. If you mix it together, you also get a really nice fragrance as well. Um, so these are also ones that I bought in the month of July. Now guys, the next fragrances that I'm going to be showing you are a couple of fragrances. I actually have four of them and I'm going to be going um, a little bit one by one with them. But these are ones that I've been wanting to try from this house. A lot of people have tried them and liked them. I know many people say that the longevity and performance are not the best. But I don't mind that for the summer because sometimes in the summer the heat of you know the daytime and stuff like that you kind of want to refresh as well throughout the day not only that but you also might want to wear something different at night so i don't mind uh reapplying in the summer because it kind of refreshes me and it takes a little bit of that heat off of me so the first um it takes a little bit of feeling hot so I don't mind reapplying because it actually helps just feel more refreshed and clean. Um, so the first one that I have is Herba Fresca. And this is a fragrance from Aqua Allegoria. And it's by Guerlain. It's not their um, expensive like uh, house. And it's also not their... Um, it's not cheap either. I mean it's right in the middle. But it's a very nice fragrance for the price. This fragrance... But let's talk about a little bit of the bottle. So the bottle kind of looks like a beehive um, and it's so pretty. There's also a little bee on the top and I think it's so cute. I mean these bottles are made like really really pretty. I really like them and they're more of a 
cologne kind of like a water refresher type of fragrance so let's see what this one smells like okay so automatically this one is definitely owning up to its name it's very green it's aromatic it smells a bit fresh i also get some citrus in it there's also a little bit of a mint in here um and a little bit of a spicy note you do also smell some florals i don't know if there's white florals in here but i do get some type of like jasmine or something in here but it's definitely very aromatic and herbally but it's really nice it actually smells like a chewing gum you know like that peppermint either that peppermint pie or that peppermint gum kind of smells like that with a little bit of citrus and just um just a note of like freshness to it so i really like this one this is a nice one but i can tell off the bat that it's not gonna last a really long time because you know we all know that citruses don't last very long the next one that i have is ginger picante and this is also by uh aqua allegoria also by guerlain so ginger picante let's take a little sniffer on this one okay so automatically i get a very herbal fresh there's a little bit of rose in here i can smell this is ginger picante by aqua allegoria and it's also by guerlain and then we continue the next one that i have also from the same line um aqua allegoria this is called pera pera granita pera granita um the names are these are so cute pera granita so i'm assuming this has a note of pear in it i'm not sure but let's just try it okay so this is definitely also aromatic very fresh i i smell a little bit of that pear but this is more of a green pear it's not like your ripe sweet pear this is definitely more of a green pear um you do get the citrus in it you also get a little bit of the florals so overall this is a beautiful one too i like this one but so far well i'll give you my favorite towards the end of the four when i finish the last one because i haven't yet tried the fourth one so this is pera granita by Guerlain. But they're all really pretty. I mean, I've never tried these. And for the price, I got a really good deal. Um, I bought these off of Max Aroma. And they were having a sale and also like a coupon code. So they were very inexpensive. Now, the next one that I have is Bergamot Calabria. And this is also by Aqua Allegoria by Guerlain. So I'm assuming... Okay. So just as I thought, by the name, I can already tell that this has obviously bergamot in it. So it's very citrusy, it's very green, it's aromatic. There's a little bit of a freshness in this. And you do get that citrus. I don't get much florals in this one, but I do get a lot of the bergamot. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's effervescent. It smells just happy. A pretty, pretty summer scent. Guys, I'm really impressed by this one. So from the four that I got, I want to say that this one is my favorite and it's Bergamot Calabria. This one is my favorite and then I would say Ginger Picante. I feel like the ginger actually smells like an authentic ginger and that's why I like it. Sometimes ginger can smell artificial, but this one actually smells like um, when you eat Asian food and you cut into the ginger, it smells like that. Very fragrant, very spicy, very warm, inviting. Um, but I like the Bergamot uh, Calabria better. So guys, these were Aqua Allegorias and these are by Guerlain and those were four that I picked up. They're worth it. I mean, for the price, if you guys can get a really inexpensive price, I say go for them. They're pretty fragrances. They're nice to be layered. I would definitely layer these fragrances. I 
think that these will go really nice with other potent fragrances um, if you mix them it'll give them more of that citrus green element that you guys would like to smell in the summer so these to me are more like booster fragrances if you know what I mean so they're more for layering I really would enjoy these for that I will wear them alone if I was in the house and I just wanted to smell fresh and something like that I will wear that but because I like fragrances that last a little bit longer and I feel like these will only last about maybe an hour or two on the skin I think that these would be better to layer I also think that if you do wear these bring a decant with you because you're gonna need it this these are ones that I can tell will not last a very long time on your skin okay guys we continue the next fragrance that I picked up is by Roberto Cavalli and it's called Paradiso Paradiso um, it is a beautiful looking bottle this is what it looks like I have no idea what this smells like but I've been hearing a lot from people and you know a lot of people like Roberto Cavalli Wow interesting okay so automatically this is a very citrus green fragrance it smells very fresh and very I smell a little bit of the woodiness as well. I know for a fact there's notes of cypress here. Um, I believe there's notes of pine tree. I think I, I, I looked up under this one when I was about to purchase it. But there was also a note of laurel. And laurel, um, a lot of people use in cuisine. They use it to give um, certain um, stews more flavor, more aromatic to the food but I don't smell it here I want to say I do smell a little bit of that greenness from the pine tree but not like the pine part of the tree but more like the pine cone because it smells a bit woody but it's very green it's a little bit spicy you get that tingle in your nose and I smell a little bit of an earthiness in here as well guys overall this is a very pretty fragrance and i want to say this is one that feels like it's gonna last a nice amount of time because it smells strong and there's some kind of depth to it it's a little bit dense but it's a beautiful floral fragrance and this one is roberto cavalli paradiso and i don't know if anybody has ever heard of this but i picked it up kind of like a blind buy and i'm very impressed by it guys it's really good so we continue the next fragrance I picked up I'm not even gonna lie I picked it up because I like the way the bottle look I thought that the bottle was so pretty and it's nothing like I've ever tried before and it's actually by Jennifer Lopez and it is called live Lux by Jennifer Lopez guys can you take a look at this gorgeous bottle it's absolutely gorgeous it has like a rainbow effect it's red it's green it's blue it's yellow i mean and it's a nice sturdy bottle now let's smell what we came for oh look how pretty it is it actually even has a red top for the atomizer part oh i like that i'm all about details the cap is very light it's nothing fancy the bottle's heavy though but it almost looks like a alcohol type of bottle kind of like a liquor bottle it just it's beautiful all right let's smell this wow okay so i smell fruit notes here it smells fruity it's definitely sweet it's fresh i do smell some kind of floral I don't think it's white florals but it smells like florals like maybe yellow flowers or something hmm let me do it again it actually also smells a little bit watery and a tad bit ozonic definitely very aquatic very summer um overall i really really love this 
I'm very impressed. Has anybody heard of this um, fragrance? This is Live Lux by Jennifer Lopez. Um, I don't often buy fragrances that are celebrity inspired fragrances or by celebrities but I saw this bottle and I said to myself you know what I want it even if it doesn't smell good if it smells terrible it's fine because I just like the way it looks because that's the kind of person I am but guys I'm very impressed this is a beautiful fresh watery ozonic fragrance this is perfect for summer um, it smells like it's going to last a little bit long because it's still lingering in the air. So I can already tell it's going to have a nice sillage and it's going to project. Wow, I'm impressed. I've been trying to find the Jennifer Lopez one that people say smells like tropical or something and I can't seem to find it. Um, if I do, I will purchase it also because now I'm totally curious about what the other ones smell like. Because years ago, I tried her first fragrance and I didn't like it. It was the one that had the little charm and it said J-Lo on it. I have to say, I hated that smell. Didn't like it at all. But guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I really like this one. So again, that was Live Lux by Jennifer Lopez. So, we continue to the next fragrance. And the next one is a fragrance that I've heard many people talk about that smells like Oud Satin Mood. And I was just curious to pick it up and see if it's true. So this is by Nina Ritchie and it's El Estaz, um, Rose Absolute. Guys, I know I'm late to the van wagon. I get it. I'm late. I'm very, very late. But I, I couldn't find it. Every time I try to buy it, it was sold out. But then I found it in Fragrance Buy and I was just like, okay, I'm going to put it in the cart and buy it. Because I felt like I was never going to find it again. And funny story, <laughs> I had bought the other El Estaz, but not the rose the original one thinking that it was this one I ordered it and they sent me two bottles which is funny I ended up gifting one to my pastor's wife the other one I kept I don't really like it much um, it's more of a floral scent but it has a little bit of an like an off smell to me that I don't really like um, this one, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, I like it. So this is Nina Ritchie El Estaz Rose Absolute. So let's try this one and see if, oh, very hefty cap. Okay. Okay, so I can smell the rose, definitely, very pungent. It smells like there's oud in here. I don't know if there is. I smell sweet vanilla. I smell a little bit of the muskiness and like some woodiness to it. It's definitely like a warm spicy scent. And there's a bit of an earthiness to this fragrance. I want to say it's a little bit dark and, and dense. But I smell like if there's oud in here. It's so weird. But it might be the concoction of the notes. Sometimes they might be or they might not be oud. But it, they make it to smell like there's oud. So I don't know what the notes are in here guys. But I do smell an oudy smell. And I want to say it's extremely close to oud satin mood. So I get a little bit of that earthiness for sure. There's definitely some spicy warmness in this. But I want to say that... This fragrance also smells like Oud Bouquet on a lighter note. Kind of like Chagaf Oud also, but just on a lighter note. Um, and I know that to me, Oud, um, Oud Scent and Mood gives me that vibe, but just a little bit lighter and more rose and more vanilla. But this one smells so much like Oud Scent and Mood. It is so close. It's unbelievable. I mean, I would have to wear like do like a wear test but I don't have time for that in this video because I'm sure you guys are already tired this is a very long video but very close I'm very very impressed so guys Nina Ritchie Alastaz Rose Absolute if you guys are looking for a dupe on the Oud Satin Mood I say try this one because it's inexpensive if you can get your hands on it try it if you guys like this and you guys want to commit to the other bottle I would say go this route first. I don't know if the next fragrance that I'm about to show you, you guys have ever heard of, ever tried. But when I saw this bottle, I fell in love with the bottle. 
and I read the the notes on it and for some reason I felt like I was gonna really like this fragrance and this is called Bison's or Bison's or Bison's by Rocha's I think it's Rocha's but what a gorgeous bottle guys look how beautiful that bottle is it's a beautiful blue sapphire bottle it's a very hefty bottle um and i'm just very curious i just think the detail on it it's absolutely gorgeous it will look beautiful on display um it's a pretty hefty uh top as well mm, very nice all right let's try this one so okay so this fragrance you definitely get vanilla there's a lot of powderiness that came out of it in the scent there's definitely florals but i also get a note of almonds in here it's a very sweet nutty almond it's a bit uh musky and also a bit woody um overall it's a very sweet so i would describe this fragrance as being a sweet vanilla floral woody musky scent that's exactly what it smells like with a little bit of almonds in there as well because you can definitely smell the almond this is a gorgeous sweet fragrance wow i am very impressed with this one so this is rocha's Bisons. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but it's worth getting your hands on it. It wasn't very expensive and it's a beautiful bottle, but honestly, it's just a gorgeous fragrance. I don't think this fragrance is going to be super duper um, projecting, but I do believe it's going to give you moderate sillage, a very strong moderate sillage from what I can smell because it's still lingering in the room. Um, but I really, really like it. Again, it's Rocha's Bisons. So give this one a try guys now the next fragrance is from a house that i've been wanting to try and it is the house of molinard i've heard some people tell me that it's a really economical house and and the fragrances are really long lasting and they're great and i said you know what i want to try some new fragrances a lot of the fragrances here are new um finds for me ones that i've never tried before no flankers i haven't tried any and I feel like I want to get more into other fragrances. There's so much out there and we always get caught up in like the hype of the fragrances. But I want to try like that golden find that no one has ever smelled. I'm going to hunt for that. And until I find it, I'm going to keep hunting. So this one is called Jasmine by Molinard. And Molinard are these purple bottles. They're very simplistic. Um, nothing special to them. I've no oh this cap sucks so this cap is terrible it's a rubber i don't like it it's super duper light the bottle is nice it's a glass but i and i like the color but i think that this really sucks so that was not attractive now let's try this fragrance okay nope not gonna like this fragrance wow that was that was not good this smells very old from years and years old like definitely older than your grandmother it smells this is a white floral jasmine scent i smell it super duper musky but like a bad musk it smells super animalic and not a nice animalic it's it's a sweet musky jasmine old smelling fragrance if that makes any sense almost kind of like when you feel your fragrance is going bad but i know it's not going bad because it doesn't have that vinegar scent but it oh my god this is terrible this actually just made me gag guys i don't like this one this is a fail and that kind of got me sad it's an edp but it's a jasmine that's not a nice jasmine this is one that oh you're gonna be smelled you're, they're gonna send they're gonna send your people are gonna notice you but not like in a good way this is definitely not date night <laughs> anyway <laughs> this will be horrible on a date night i will wear this and i'll tell you something funny i will wear this if i had a date with somebody that I really wasn't interested in. 
this is the kind of fragrance that I would wear if I really don't want him anywhere near me. This is the winner if that's what you're looking for. Guys, this was a complete fail. But you can try it if you want. I don't like it. Guys, I'm almost afraid <laughs> to go into the next one because it's also by Molinard. And I don't even know. And it's so weird because I just noticed that the bottles are totally different. This one has this rubbery cap and this one has kind of like a copper cap. Also, the logos on them are different. This one has the white um, on it and this one doesn't. So I'm just curious to see what this one smells like. But this one is called Vanille Fruité or Fruity. Uh, fruité, I'm thinking. Vanille Fruité. So let's see what this one smells like. Let's see what the cap is. Okay. This is a heavy cap. Now, now we're talking. This is a copper looking cap. It's very heavy. I'm so surprised. I don't even know. Maybe that's an older packaging and it went bad. Now I'm curious to order maybe another one and see what it is like. I mean, I don't know. Let's try this one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, guys. I love this one. We went from heck no to heck yes. That, Jasmine was terrible. This is amazing, guys. This is sweet. It has caramel, a bit of floral. You smell that vanilla. It smells creamy. You know what it smells like? Kind of like... If you take um, sugar and you burn it, um, you know how you get that caramelized scent and you put like vanilla extract in it and you just let it simmer over the hot stove and it's sweet. And then you add a little bit of like condensed milk and warm that up and you get like a little bit of that lactonic like, feel. But there's a little bit of like a spiciness to this. I don't get a lot of the fruitiness. I don't. I do get a lot of the vanilla. Um, see, to me, I get more of the caramel, vanilla, spicy, a bit floral. There might be a little bit of fruits in here. I don't know what type of fruits are here, but it's very vague. It's not, it's not like strong. I really like this one, but this is not one that's going to be a beast mold. This is for those vanilla lovers. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. Vanille Fruité or Fruity by Molinard. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is a gorgeous one. I really, really enjoyed this one. I'm so surprised because the other one I hate it. So guys, the next fragrance is one that has been also sold out. So hard to find. Um... And I finally was able to find it. I know a lot of people love this fragrance. And it's by Mason Lancome. And it is Jasmine's Marsipani. Jasmine Marsipani. I love these bottles. And the color of the juice, guys. It's such a beautiful color. I mean, I absolutely love that deep caramel color. Guys, I am hoping for the best. See, I love Jasmine. I love a white floral, but it's got to be done right because like that other jasmine, jasmine can be off, like unappealing. If you do it wrong, it can be terrible, but I'm hoping for the best. Fingers crossed. Okay. Wow. This is a gorgeous white floral jasmine scent this is beautiful it's a bit sweet a little bit musky you get a little bit of that powder um there's got to be more white florals in here because i'm also picking up a little bit of like orange blossom or some orange something i smell a little bit of that but there's definitely jasmine here it's a little bit woody as well wow what a gorgeous scent I absolutely love this one if I didn't have to test out other ones I would definitely make this one the scent of the night for me because I really like this one Wow now I know why everyone is on this um is on this fragrance because it's amazing so this is Mason Lancome Jasmine's 
marzipani guys gorgeous it's a little bit expensive but well worth it it's a gorgeous jasmine fragrance for those jasmine lovers i think you guys would love this one it's beautiful beautiful guys are you still with me we have three more to go and then i'll promise i'll let you guys go this has been a very long long haul i understand but thank you for staying with me i really appreciate it let's continue i have three more fragrances thank you for staying with me so so long the next fragrance that i have is by a house i had never um really tried before i've heard of the fragrance house it's a fragrance house that's been known for many many years it's an older fragrance house and i heard about this on giselle's channel i will put her channel somewhere here or here gb fragrances she is a great friend to me she is so knowledgeable she knows so much about fragrances and i know for a fact that if she's talking about it i'm gonna like it so i looked into the house and i found one that i felt i would like and it's called place vendum so this is boucheron paris and it's called place vendum guys this bottle is exquisite it's a beautiful heavy um glass the cap is so beautiful it looks like it has a gem on there i mean it's absolutely gorgeous and i am dying to try this one so let's try it together okay so i already know i love this fragrance from initial spray guys this is sweet there's white florals in here definitely amber i want to say it's a fresh scent but there's also rose in here and i also smell a very warm spiciness to this fragrance oh my gosh it's exquisite wow this fragrance is beautiful Thank you, Giselle, for bringing this to my attention. I mean, I have to say, you know yourself, um, you're very knowledgeable. And, you know, there's a lot of people that do videos and they do them for the love of fragrances. And there's other ones that have been doing it for a very long time. Giselle is one of those people that have, um, just like myself, we've been around fragrances for years. And this is something that we've, we've been doing for a long time. And usually when she talks about a fragrance i'm gonna like it i'm sure there's people that you guys watch as well that you can relate with their scents i also relate with spicy looks nisha is my other good friend we'll also post her around here somewhere nisha has amazing taste as well for fragrances and just like me she loves um beast mode fragrances and that i know if they try i'm gonna love so i am so so happy i came across this house Thank you, Giselle, for talking about this one. Guys, this is Boucheron and it's Place Vendum. Again, this is sweet. It's white floral. It's an amber. It's rose and it's warm, spicy. Wow, this is a really good find. So I'm very, very happy with this one. And so we continue. Guys, we've come to the last two. And these, I have been waiting so long. There is such a hype about this house and it is Goldfields and Banks. And I want to say I cheated a little bit with this one because I couldn't wait and I smelled them. So I already love these fragrances. I absolutely love them. The first one that I want to talk to you guys about is Bohemian Lime by Goldfields and Banks. Guys, this is absolutely gorgeous okay so for our ladies that love a little bit of a masculinity in our fragrances but still feminine this is the fragrance for you this is a citrus woody aromatic earthy fragrance it's fresh it's vibrant it's happy it's got it going on like this has got it going on this smells like it's going to be super duper long lasting it is just amazing guys if you hear noise it's my ceiling fan um it's very hot it gets very hot with these lights in the room so if you hear the noise that's what you're hearing um it's the ceiling fan 
but going back to my fragrance this is a gorgeous citrus fragrance but it's more than just a citrus it's got like an oomph to it it's like it's potent there's density to it this is one that's still lingering in the room i can smell it this is one that i feel is gonna last so so long guys you need to get your hands on goldfield and banks do not sleep on it this is an amazing house when i first heard about this i actually um called my friend crystal from crystal fragrances and i said crystal do you carry goldfield and banks and she's like maggie we just got it in so guys you need to go to her website crystalfragrances.com i have it listed on the bottom you guys can click on the link and it'll take you to her website she is amazing customer service is amazing but she is carrying goldfield and banks and when i tell you guys i am in love i asked her i said crystal which one should i get and she says maggie bohemian lime i even spoke to her husband and he was like maggie bohemian lime then i also was interested in pacific uh moss in pacific rock moss sorry and i said to her which one of the two should i have and she's like oh my god you need two of them so I knew I needed them because if Crystal's telling me I need both of them, I need both of them. So this was Bohemian Lime. Now the next one, obviously, is Pacific Rock Moss. And Pacific Rock Moss is my favorite. From the two, this is my favorite. And I have to say, this is gorgeous. This is mossy. It's green. It's earthy it's citrus it's woody it's fresh it's herbal i mean what else can i say there's florals in here there's i think there's rose in here but it's aromatic and it fills up the room with such a beautiful presence um it's like nothing you've smelled before this is okay so this is bohemian lime is your citrus but you know an upscale citrus now this is your citrus with a little kick to it so you have that moss which gives you that earthy um almost a little bit um i want to say a little bit dirty kind of but it's not dirty um kind of texture to the fragrance there's texture in this this is not a light fragrance this is one that is dense it's potent it's one that's going to get you known um if you're looking for a citrus that's like that but also a fragrance that's not going to be a hundred percent feminine there's going to be a little bit of a masculinity to this fragrance which i do not mind at all because i love smelling feminine with a little bit of a kick guys do not sleep on these and i am going back for more from crystal because there's some other ones that i want to try and i tried out another one which i'm probably going to get and haul it for you guys later but bohemian lime and pacific rock moss are bomb like they're bomb and so you guys made it to the end with me i just want to say thank you if you guys enjoyed this video and i'm so sorry it was so long but it was so many bottles to get through i mean i did a lot as you can see of of shopping <laughs> and if you've enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up letting me know you guys enjoyed this video it helps me with the analytics like i said at the beginning of the video but if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments below. If you guys are not following me on um, Instagram, also follow me at, at Total Fashion Sense there. And do not forget, guys, about my giveaway that I have going on in my oil perfumery um, video. Really, you have to join in that and enter because it's an amazing giveaway. $50. Who doesn't want that? But overall, this is... A great haul I feel I found some really good houses some new fragrances I've never tried before a couple of new houses I've, I've also not tried before there was one fail and we all know it was that Jasmine um, so without further ado I'll let you guys go I hope you guys have a great evening you guys stay safe I love you and I will catch you guys in the return bye I'll talk to you soon